Hi everybody, here I am today again. Today I thought I would do some math with you. We're gonna work on some word problems and Buddy is here to help. You gonna help us today, Buddy? Yeah, sure, okay, I'll help you. And um, we've done some word problems before everybody. I don't know if you remember when we did, um, we acted out some word problems in the class, like some kids went to Mrs. Fredos' house in our, in our stories and then we also did some word problems in the hallway with some case files with some superheroes. You might remember Batman like ate a bunch of power bars in one of the stories. <clears throat> so today, I want to I want to challenge you to be using drawing to solve word problems. Some word problems you can do in your head, but the, as they get harder and harder, you have to have different ways to solve them. And today, I want you to think about using drawing to solve them. So, buddy, I've got a story about you first so we can practice, okay? All right, yeah, good, okay. So, it goes like this. Buddy Bear ate three lemons. I hope it wasn't Larry the lemon. No, of course not. He's my friend. Okay. So, he ate three lemons. So, what we can do is we can draw that. Just using circles. One, two, three. The rest of the story is, you ready for this, buddy? Then he ate four slices of watermelon. So what do you think? I think he ate some and then he ate some more. So this is an adding problem. So I'm gonna draw those four slices of watermelon. Whenever we're adding more, we know that's an adding problem. So it says, how many pieces of fruit did buddy eat? Well, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He ate seven pieces of fruit. Wow, you were hungry, huh? Okay, <clears throat> the next story is about lamb chop. Should we see lamb chop? Let me get a new piece of paper because I am gonna draw for this one too. Here she is. Everybody's home with me. They're having a great time visiting my house. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I miss you. Okay, so, you ready for your story? Yeah. Okay, Lamb Chop made six cupcakes for Buddy's birthday. <gasps> it's almost Buddy's birthday? Um, no, it was a long time ago. It's an old story. Oh, okay. So you made six cupcakes. That must have been a lot of work. It was. Shall we draw that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, six cupcakes goes like this. One, two, three four, five, six. I hope you can see my drawing okay, everybody. Okay, let's hear the rest of the story. It says, uh-oh, Snozzy ate four of the cupcakes. Snozzy, that wasn't very nice of you to do. See what he's got to say about it. He says, sorry, but they were really delicious. He couldn't help himself. Hmm. All right, so that sounds like a takeaway story because there were six, but then mm, Snaz, the little pig here, he ate four of them. So instead of drawing more, we're gonna cross some off. And the story said that Snazzy ate four of them. So we're gonna cross off four. So how many cupcakes were left for the party? Two. Right? There were two cupcakes left for the party. Okay, so now you know what to do and how to draw because I just showed you boys and girls. So I'm gonna give you two challenge word problems to draw at home. Now I know, once again, I know that a lot of you might be able to figure out some of these in your head, but I want you to practice drawing them because you need to know how to do it in case you couldn't ever do it in your head. Sometimes you can't do it in your head. So, Libby, can you do all math in your head? Absolutely not. Oh, yeah. I can't do all math in my head, so I have to learn different ways to do it. <clears throat> and I've been doing math for a long time. Are you ready for these stories? Here they are. Oh, the first one is about Gribbit the Frog. Okay, so get out your paper. Are you ready? Gribbit drank five cups of coffee. Gribbit! That's a lot of coffee. Oh, my goodness. Then he drank three more cups of coffee. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be stuck to the wall. 
you're going to be crazy there, Mr. Gribbit, with all that coffee. So can you tell me how many cups of coffee Gribbit drank in all? He's excited about it. He loves that coffee. Okay. The next one is about Jenny the Jaguar. Jenny the Jaguar spied eight mice for her lunch. Oh, she was looking out of her cave and she saw eight mice. And she thought, mmm, those look delicious. She went hunting and she caught two of the mice. So how many of the mice got away? Okay, so those are your two word problems to try to figure out today. And I hope you draw them to solve them. Okay, everybody have a great weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye.